So finally, it is confirmed. We are getting a Deadpool 3 trailer at the Super Bowl. This is not rumor mill. This is not fake Twitter scooper news. Real information. We are getting a red band Deadpool 3 trailer at the Super Bowl. So yo, what a freaking good YouTube watch you have. You're new around here. Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Kaiju, Monsterverse, Marvel, DC, pop culture based content that they try to cover on a daily basis. You're good to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know how freaking excited are you for the Deadpool 3 teaser trailer. It's not a full trailer. The full trailer will go to YouTube, kind of like what they did for Doctor Strange 2, I guess you could say. Also, check us out on Instagram at watch you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter. Let's do G. Right, let's get into this video. So as you know, the Super Bowl is this coming Sunday, and allegedly... It is going to cost even more money this year for a Super Bowl trailer. As we know, it's reportedly one second that Super Bowl advertisement is around two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. So for a thirty-second TV spot, you're talking between seven million to ten million ish. No one actually knows exactly what it costs. So yes, according to the most reliable insider, Cryptic HD on Twitter, more reliable than anyone else. He said over the last few days, stroke week, they were processing stroke getting the Deadpool 3 trailer ready. And now he said on the Twitter sphere, Deadpool 3 is guaranteed to feature a Super Bowl spot, which means TV spot with a trailer releasing afterwards. No more speculation. Now, I've been very harsh on people saying there's Deadpool 3 trailer because up until yesterday night when he said this, it would have been Monday night. It was all fabrication. It was all guesswork. But now we know. There is an official trailer, and also I could exclusively tell you the Brazilian leaked information was for so this. As a teaser, the trailer would actually focus on Deadpool, who is going through a midlife crisis and has left the life of heroes behind. He now sells cars to support himself. There was a quick shot of striking appearance by Wolverine, who will stick his claws into his rival in the preview. Deadpool in turn gives Logan a nickname, making fun of his hair. There is swearing and the rating is definitely for adults. Furthermore, other mutants will show up. Wait to find out who. So from everything I understand, this is 100%. This came from the Brazilian Twitter account. So yeah, Deadpool 3 trailer, sick. Now we did go over some other Deadpool 3 information from said trailer in a previous video. I'll put it in a card over top right now. I don't actually think that's true. I'm trying to find out what's actually in this trailer, but at the moment, no one's talking, but I know who's watched it, who's got hold of it, but no one's telling me anything. So. I can't tell you specifics, but it is roughly going to be a 30 second TV spot that hitting YouTube after. So also in the news. Yeah, there was a bunch of nonsense going around the Internet. But somehow Taylor Swift and Ryan Reynolds have rigged the Super Bowl. Nah, Ryan Reynolds is going to be in multiple trailers at the Super Bowl, if that's what you mean. But I don't understand the whole Taylor Swift and Deadpool 3. You know, people can be friends in real life, even if you're, you're like in the public eye. And, and that kind of stuff. So Kevin Feige wore a hat at an awards ceremony that had the, the logo of Wolverine and Deadpool. And y'all nerds went insane. No, I'm not going to make a video because Kevin Feige has a Deadpool hat on. I don't care who's doing that. Your boy is not going to make content like that. We're just freaking desperate. No, we'll mention it because realistically, at the end of every Marvel project, what happens is the cast and crew are given a souvenir, whether it be a jacket, whether it be a t-shirt, whether it be a hat. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, based on reliable information that I have been told, that is a cast and crew hat. So no, I got the DMs, I read them, I'm not going to make a video because Kevin Feige wears a hat. I'm how many times I could bleep in this video? So, also in the news, now I find it funny when anybody with some kind of internet clout when it comes to this kind of stuff tweets stuff. So Cryptic HD Quality says Deadpool and Friends 10 hours ago. Oh my God, is, is he hinting at the title of the movie is Deadpool and Friends? Well, realistically, the title doesn't really matter. It's kind of like when we had the Avengers 4 title being everything under the sun and Endgame was on no one's barrier. No one guessed that. The amount of fake titles there was for Endgame, it doesn't really matter what the movie's called because we all know predominantly what the movie's about. We all know that Deadpool and Wolverine are the co-main stars, so it's kind of irrelevant. So there will be some other trailers at the Super Bowl. So Godzilla X Kong the Empire is a big movie that I cover on this YouTube channel. 
And Warner Bros. will not be put in a TV spot out or a trailer out for this movie. And to be honest, except for The Flash last year, Warner Bros. don't generally do Super Bowl trailers. I don't understand why a lot of people see this thing. So I've, like, I've covered the, the trailer news and what could be in trailer. There are a lot of videos on Godzilla X Kong and New Empire, but I never said there was actually a Super Bowl trailer. Sure, there is a trailer being processed. There is a trailer being worked on. But realistically, that movie comes out in March, early April, depending on where you live. We've already had a big trailer. There will most likely be another big trailer. As I've said in multiple conversations with people, it doesn't really make sense for them to drop a trailer because it doesn't matter what trailer you post at the Super Bowl, Deadpool 3 is going to trance literally everything, especially if Taylor Swizzy is in it. I know she's not, but she, a lot of people seem to think that Taylor Swift has got a cameo in Deadpool 3. I mean, she's apparently being in Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, but she wasn't in either. Just because for a Halloween costume, she's dressed up as Deadpool. Taylor Swift is very good friends with Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. I mean, I keep saying it. You can be friends with famous people in real life without having to be in their project. Cool if Taylor Swift did some music and if Taylor Swift was in the movie, it may bang. Not specifically, it may bang. So it is interesting. So there will be loads of Sonic 3 trailers going to be at Super Bowl. There will be a lot of trailers at said Super Bowl, but you've got to understand it is such a big risk for any company to put a good bunch of their marketing budget into the Super Bowl because realistically, not everyone watches the Super Bowl. You're better off putting a YouTube trailer because YouTube will get more hits. But it is cool. It really is cool. So hopefully there is a bunch of cool trailers, but there ain't a Godzilla X Colony Empire trailer, which is kind of bad. But saying that, just because there isn't going to be one at the Super Bowl doesn't mean that Warner Bros. Legendary won't drop a random trailer this week. So Ryan Reynolds is going to be in literally a lot of trailers. He's going to be in the If trailer. They've already announced that. He's going to be in a Deadpool 3 trailer. And a bunch of other trailers will be at the Super Bowl. But let's be honest, most of the people at the Super Bowl aren't really watching the Super Bowl for the Super Bowl. So the embargo for Madam Web lifts so close to the movie coming out. I mean, sometimes it's to avoid spoilers, but the whole plot leak for that movie is already out there. The fact that the main star left her team who represent her a week after they revealed her tells you she got screwed over. It seems to me like they kind of promised she'd be part of the MCU, and it, it turns out that she's not going to be part of the MCU at all, which is kind of bad because the potential with Madam Web and with the other spider women is pretty good, but I don't think it carries over to live action. I think it's more about the animated verse, really, if you ask me. So the supposed traders at the Super Bowl this weekend will be Wicked, Knuckles, Deadpool 3, Inside Out 2, A Quiet Place Day 1, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which is pretty cool. But like I say, very expensive, $200,000 to $300,000 per second, which is absolutely insane. Warner Bros, Prime Video, Netflix, Sony Pictures are going to have no trailers at said Super Bowl. But realistically, are Sony going to drop a Madden Web trailer at the Super Bowl? No chance. Netflix doesn't really promote any of their movies, realistically. I mean, maybe Rebel Moon, they promoted that. And some people ask me, yo, is there going to be a Rebel Moon part two trade at Super Bowl? No, because Netflix don't promote that. Warner Bros. don't really have many big movies. And it, they're not going to put that much money into a Godzilla X Kong New Empire trailer. Although it would be interesting if they did drop a YouTube trailer, which they very much could do. Now, if we do get some more details about what's going to be in said Deadpool trailer, I'll let you know. But we went over what's already out there. I mean, we've covered a bunch of stuff about what potentially is in the Deadpool 3 trailer. But the thing is, I've noticed recently is a lot of people don't vet the image that they're actually covering. There's so many Twitter accounts with like 100 followers. And then you see the post going viral and it's from a nobody account. And it's like, oh my God, they got all this information when it turns out it's wrong. So it actually turns out upon doing further information and finding out some new information that allegedly the Brazilian information about Deadpool being a car salesman, <laughs> etc. what we went over earlier in said video. You know the information when I said the trader were naturally focus on Deadpool, going through midlife crisis, he's left a hero life behind, he now says, sells cars to support himself, and there's a quick striking appearance from Wolverine, who will get his stick, his claws into his rival in the preview. Deadpool in turn gives Logan a nickname, making fun of his hair, there is some swearing, the rain is definitely for adults. Allegedly, I could be wrong, but allegedly that's actually true, and also apparently in said trailer teaser, it does allude to a title being 
Deadpool and Wolverine or Deadpool and Friends? So who freaking knows, lads and ladettes? But I give you whatever information I think's real based on vetting the information. I don't just see something online and run with it. I always try and talk to the source. So from further inspections, lads and ladettes, apparently this Brazil information is real, but it's hard because obviously... The person that wrote it's first language isn't English, so it was written in Brazilian, and then people have had to translate stuff. So it might not be 100% true, but the, apparently the car sales part of it is definitely 100% true. So I'm very much looking forward to how R-rated is said trailer, because it's getting shown at the Super Bowl. There's going to be a lot of young people watching this, but I presume it could be R-rated, but will be pretty tame, and then the real trailer is going to tell us, is Deadpool 3 really going to be a hard R? So like always, guys, check it out on Instagram. I'll watch you to see the beautiful place around the beautiful place. Check his head. I'll catch you in another video, guys. Very soon. Catch you later.